Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to tell you how to make four rolls of toilet paper last you three months. I'm going to give you a little outline, technique, and what I did to make that happen. How do you make four rolls of toilet paper last three months? Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about in this video. First, I'm going to give you an overview of how I did this in Antarctica, what toilet paper can and cannot do for you, some alternatives, and what the actual rest of the world does so they don't consume this actually pretty expensive uh, sort of item. So I'm going to get into all of those different things. When I was in Antarctica, I had limited supplies, including toilet paper. This was a very uh, good example of the type of roll that I brought with me in Antarctica, and I could only bring four rolls of toilet paper for three months. Now, in order to make four rolls of toilet paper last three months when you're eating bricks of butter and all sorts of things that don't make the plumbing downstairs work very well, how do you do it? Well. The trick in Antarctica was because there was an unlimited supply of snow and ice, I could chisel out little chunks of snow, and I know this is way TMI, but just entertain me here. I could chisel out little chunks of snow, just the right size and crystal shape, to be able to wipe and clean, toss it, wipe and clean and toss it. So if you happen to live in a very icy, snowy location, like, I don't know, Wyoming in the winter or somewhere, or Alaska, you can actually do this. However, you can't really do that outside at your home because very quickly you're going to end up in this toxic morass of biohazard outside your home. You can't really do that, and that, that doesn't work well inside your home. But in Antarctica, that's how I made that this many rolls of toilet paper last three months is because I did the primary cleaning using chunks of ice. Now, does that sound comfortable? Absolutely not. It's not enjoyable at all, but it gets a job done. And secondly, I used wet wipes. These bad boys right here, I'll put a link below to Amazon, assuming they still have them, wet wipes. So what I would do is I would use the ice chunks to do bulk cleaning with uh, number two, after going number two, clean, 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 clean. And then I would take one of these, just one, and I could get seven cleaning passes with a single wet one to get things nice and squeaky clean down there, right? So this actually works incredibly well. And the only thing I would do is I would give myself two squares of toilet paper every day. That, that's my maximum limit. So I might just have to use one square because I simply couldn't carry that money. Pretty gross, I know, but that's the only way to do it because if you imagine how many rolls of toilet paper do you need for three months, there's no way I could drag that much toilet paper. So you have to use ice, wet wipes, and then one square to maybe two squares of this precious stuff in Antarctica to make it through. Now, most of the people actually overdo it with toilet paper. They actually like go crazy and mummify their hand. All right, I know it's a little gross and all that, but look, this is an extreme overkill. And I'm here as proof telling you, you don't have to go nuts with your toilet paper. You can be very, very conservative about how you use this material. Because as you've seen in local stores, all of a sudden this has become a hot commodity. And oh, I've, I've got to use my usual wasteful style of wrapping my hand and mummifying it and then wrapping it around my head. Like, look folks, you don't have to be as wasteful as you think. I am proof that surviving for three months in Antarctica with only four rolls of toilet paper, you can totally do it. Now, in America, we're actually pretty squeamish about things. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Other countries, India, Egypt, uh, China where I've been, Japan, they all use a different technique. So my, my whole cleaning process in Antarctica relied on chunks of ice, nobody else around, clean, 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 wipe, throw, throw, throw. Yes, kind of gross. But when you run out of toilet paper and you're facing this reality, now I'm going to show you, well, what do you do 
to actually make your toilet paper last a long, long time. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna actually give a live demonstration, but I'm going to show you. So first of all, the most important thing to note is soap. Soap is everything to cleaning. Toilet paper will not protect you from the coronavirus. It won't do anything. Soap, bars of soap, hand soap, that's what will protect you from this virus because you have to wash your hands. Wrapping yourself in toilet paper it won't work. Hand sanitizer is not nearly as effective as old school, you know, Dove bar soap, foamy soap, whatever the case may be. So this is something to consider is, oh, I need hand sanitizer. That's in a pinch. But my special exotic disease doctor that I go see when I go on these trips, I asked him hand sanitizer versus soap. <laughs> Check this out, yeah, so I asked him, uh, where is it? So I've got my <coughs> big old container of hand sanitizer and I've got a bar of soap and, or soap, liquid soap, and my infectious disease doctor out of Jackson Hole said, hand sanitizer versus soap, soap wins hands down for wiping out all disease. Old school, not, not the fancy stuff, but just plain Jane bars of soap make all the difference. So now I'm going to show you what the actual process is. The Okay, I'm running out of toilet paper. I'm down to the last little sliver. What do I do? This is America. <laughs> all right, you're going to have to get over it, folks. So the cleaning process for when the toilet paper goes to zero and you're freaking out about it is simply this. I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to explain. That's right, folks. It's called the bidet, and it totally works. The Japanese use it. They have those fancy things that scoop out under and spray under. It's, it's pretty crazy. But the Egyptians do it. The Indians do it. The Middle Easterners do it. And they are all just fine. And what they do is they get the water running, get everything all warmed up. And then if you have a shower head, and check that out. I can spray it outside the shower. If you have a shower head, this is very easy. You just simply hop in, and I know it's a little bit gross. You just simply squat down, get that shower head cranked in, spraying in the right position, and you just begin spraying and rinsing off. That's when you get the little bar of soap out, and you give yourself a little bit of a rinse down, just like you would in the shower, and continue to spray with the water. And then you stop the shower head, and you're actually all done because that water flow is actually much more effective. But oh, you know, I'm not exactly sure. After doing that process, you can take these two sheets of now gold and you can do a complete wipe down and take out. Now, these wet ones, the wet wipes are actually highly effective too because they have whatever, benzothonium chloride, which is an antibacterial. So you can get a rinse down and then bust out one of these guys. They're not flushable, by the way. You have to go in the trash. I know, other countries, Middle East, South America, they all do this, folks. So if you're really freaking about the precious toilet paper, this is how you do it. And you simply give yourself a wet wipe pass, get everything all sparkling clean, and you only need two squares of this precious toilet paper to do the usual passing and wiping, hey, it's totally clean, F toss it in the toilet, flush it, and away it goes. So that's literally the process of how you can make four rolls of this now highly precious toilet paper, which the freak out about this just blows me away, but whatever. And you combo this with the wet wipe and the shower to get everything squeaky clean. And I utterly promise you, you per person can make four rolls of toilet paper last for three months. My name's Aaron Lindstyle. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler and toilet paper consultant because I know how to make this stuff last. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful. Uh, you can't get toilet paper in America anymore, but you can get wet wipes and you can always get bars of soap Believe me, this is totally how it's done. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe and enjoy your adventures.